so you're obviously here because you're speaking, but would you have come otherwise? Yeah, I mean, this show is uh, known in the industry as one of the top shows for Amazon sellers, and the community in Brooklyn and in New York around the Amazon community is second to none any, if anywhere else. The passion huh. and the, the, the ideas that come out from these type of events are just, you know, energizing. A lot of Amazon sellers learn new things. Uh, even if you pick up a couple of new ideas, that's a great thing people discuss about. Uh, the problems, how they solve the problems with Amazon yeah. and all those things. Ed does a great job organizing and really getting high quality speakers, yeah. high quality vendors, all the ones that are going to add value to the seller experience. How would you say the interaction with those who have been here before is going for you? I, mean, I found this the friendliest conference. I mean, you're greeted, you come in. I went into the vendor area because that's where we are. Yeah. But the vendors around us are all, it's an extremely mixed bunch. I think one of the benefit of having these conferences is that people learn from each other. You know, they yeah. get together. People are curious. They want to find out how the experts are doing it, you know. Uh -huh. So they could uh, take their advice and uh, basically develop on their business. It's good to get in front of those sellers and just talk about your business and really I think it's ultimately good to just be a part of a community. You heard the news, everybody talking about Amazon coming to New York City, coming to Long Island City, but there's already so much e-commerce activity going on right here um, in New York City, so it's great to see it in action. Amazon is a very interesting platform for a number of reasons. Uh, one, it's actually a great tool if you're wanting to build a brand. You don't need to invest a huge amount of money to actually start a brand. As your business grows, you used to be a generalist. You used to be able to do everything. And as your business grows, you need to become a specialist. You need to figure out what you do best, and then you need to find people that do the things that- Staff to your weaknesses, right. That's, right. That, that, that help you with the rest of your business. Yeah. Try to learn, do it fast, and act. Don't forget to act. Huh. Okay. Because it, what happens? Uh, People learn, and you know, on the way on to their huh. uh, to their house, on the bus, on the train, on the subway, they they don't take the knowledge and do well. I will do A, B, C, D, and do a task list. So they, they forget. They don't implement the knowledge that they get here. What is it about this conference that's, um, I guess, impacting your development as a as a lawyer? Well, to me, it helps me stay in touch with what's going on on Amazon. Okay. Um, I am an intellectual property lawyer. Right. I don't necessarily, I'm not an e-commerce seller. So it helps my clients in a, in a way when I can, I can converse in, in e-commerce language. A lot of private label sellers will actually develop their own products. Okay. And when you start looking at new products, um, you have to ask a couple of questions in terms of IP. A, are you infringing on somebody else's rights? Wow. Who said who said you're free to sell this product? Are you going to sell this product only to wake up, you know, three months down the road with a lawsuit? Uh, the biggest concern of branded of uh, people selling branded products are usually the brands coming after them and the strong enforcement from Amazon. Uh, private label sellers have a much bigger concern with competitor competitors doing black market tactics and trying to get them off. That's basically the common denominator of concerns between those people. We have learned a lot about what challenges sellers are facing today yeah. uh, with their accounts, with their reviews, you know, and uh, that helps us as a leading outsourcing uh, e-commerce practice to shape our services, to uh, provide them services which they are looking for. People being very honest about what they're up against, um, what they're looking for, and it really speaks very highly to Ed Rosenberg and his setting this up, oh. is that you have sellers really coming here looking for business solutions right. and business answers. Some conferences you go to are more sort of a party kind of thing. Things are always changing, so it's always good to be informative and to be updated on, you know, what, whatever is happening at Amazon. So so here you get the everything, the inside scoop right away. I'm still learning and a learning process, so yeah. I'm gonna be keep growing with them and see I find new vendors, maybe I find a new product, maybe yeah. I find better somebody who's doing better shipping. Ed puts on a great conference, there's tremendous speakers, uh, so much networking opportunities. It's a good opportunity to to find uh, like-minded people. Uh, people who are who are selling, who are in the same focus, who understand, they, they feel comfortable with me. They, they feel, oh, I have now. I see a company that understands. There's just so many people that you can network with. You know, it's like everyone you speak to online or just hear about, especially from the Telegram groups, they're all in one place. So it's a great opportunity to network. It's just an amazing experience walking around over here to see sellers being successful with our platform. 
just information, the knowledge that is going on over here is crazy. A lot of times sellers come to conferences and they're looking for tactics on how to, on how to grow, how to build a listing, how to find new products, how to find a partner. Um, and so, you know, sometimes when you speak about something that isn't necessarily something they were expecting to hear, yeah. it's kind of an aha moment for them. Mm. And so it's not necessarily that, um, it, it's not, they weren't looking for it, they didn't know to look for it, um, but after we were able to share it, they go, oh, that's really interesting and it's a different way to think of my business. It's great just to uh, network with uh, sellers and even other uh, vendors that we can possibly partnership with. Yeah, we, we've met a few guys. I mean, again, yeah. you know, it's a closed-knit group, so we're the outsiders here, but it's coming along and, yeah. you know, I mean, you know, you leave with a couple people's name and phone numbers and go from there. So, overall, I've been happy with it. Ed does a wonderful job. Yeah. Uh, putting together so many people and uh, bringing so much knowledge to Amazon sellers is a, is a very good thing and is a lot of work that he's put in and I congratulate him for that. Having the ability to be here at the Amazon Sellers Group gave us the opportunity to show off our new product which is geared strictly towards the market that are actually coming to the show. So what we're offering is basically to do product videos for a cost-effective price and everybody that comes here to this show is looking for ideas how to make their business better, how to enhance their sales, how to up their you know, conversion and make sure that everything they do is effective. The reason why I started this is because Amazon is an extremely difficult place to navigate and they're so large and every seller is so small compared to Amazon that it's almost impossible to follow the rules and regulation and you're so insignificant. Huh. We had Amazon employees here and I really wanted to make a great impression to show the caliber of sellers, yeah. to show that we're honest people and that we're not trying to trick the system and that we're just trying to survive on Amazon. Yeah. And I think it definitely accomplished that. We were very impressed of the employees and they were very impressed of us.